Hey, this is June from Turning Point Life Investment, and this video is for February 21st, 2009. And let's start with a three-year weekly view of the SPY. So finally, the market decided to do something. Uh, it managed to break down from support. We were anticipating some kind of break either to the downside or to the upside. And we finally got the answer that the market wanted to go uh, lower and most likely retest, if it hasn't already, the uh, November low. Looking at this uh, week's candlestick, we can see obviously it's a down week, so we had a nice down uh, candlestick indicating bearish momentum towards the downside. Volume is average, nothing really significant as compared to before. Um, this is mostly fear driven, so even though we had a decline of broker support this week, uh, the fear isn't exactly there anymore. And you can and you uh, notice it when I go over the VIX. Uh, weekly stochastic is starting to point downwards. And same with the MACD, it's uh, heading towards the negative uh, territory. So indicators are showing bearish momentum, um, even if you didn't notice that. But just the fact that it broke the 80 support pretty much tells you that, that we're ready uh, for another leg lower, which we basically been uh, talking about within the last few videos that, you know, there's there's a we're just waiting for some kind of breakdown. And we got that this week. OK, going to a six month daily view, as I mentioned, the 80 was a good support. So Broken support usually can act as resistance. If we get some kind of bounce, uh, look for 80 as your first level of resistance, as well as this 20-day moving average. So once the market starts to trend again like it's doing right now, um, look for a resistance with the moving averages first to 20, then obviously the 50. Uh, since here, it acted as pretty good uh, resistance right here. So expect to see that again with the 50. But your first level of resistance is going to be 80. Um, support obviously is down here very very close I think we we're less than a dollar away on Friday from touching that level at 75 so we're pretty much at a very critical point here I would say um, the bulls if there is ever a time for the bulls to come in it would have to be now if not the bears can pretty much break through this support at 75 and take this market lower so we got to see some kind of strong bullish conviction coming in otherwise the, um, we can have another leg uh, down, which should pretty much complete the fifth leg lower. Um, once that leg down is finished, then we can see a, a nice rally, a multi-month rally, most likely into the end of the year. But uh, we just have to wait to see when this down leg is going to be finished. So your new level to look for is this 75 right here. Okay, next I want to go into the VIX. Um, I mentioned that the VIX isn't as um, as bearish as it once was compared to here. Even though we, back in November, we made a new low, um, the VIX was here. And we're pretty much close to that new low. And the VIX is down at 50 as opposed to 80. So it tells you that the traders aren't as fearful. The fear isn't as driven, uh, aren't, aren't as high as it once was right here. It's more or less like the second time around. So it's kind of we've been there done that okay you know I'm not that fearful anymore not that scared anymore however I do expect this to jump up a little bit higher if we do manage to break 75 if 75 breaks then I would definitely see some more puts being bought um, in the long run and we would see the VIX go higher but currently based on just looking at the VIX it's still stuck within a channel of 50 and 40 okay uh, if that show tells us anything there's a little bit of bullish divergence um, going on possibly because while the market made a new low but the VIX is still within the range okay so not a whole lot of put buying this week N not as much as uh, we anticipated even despite the market decline so if this has any significance we might see a possible up week next week okay maybe the bulls will step in a little bit um, the only question is how long can they hold that support level at 75 OK, so once again, um, just to reiterate, uh, this is going to be some pretty critical levels to watch for. So keep an eye on the 75, 80 will be your next level of resistance. Break that, then we have the 20 and then we have the 50. Ultimately, coming back here to 88, if the bulls have the, the strength to even push it that high. But if it can, then uh, we might get some more bullishness, uh, possible higher highs and higher lows. But um, we just really have to see and, and uh, and find out what the market's going to do now that uh, we we're rolling into a new options month. Okay, so that was the market analysis. I'm going to go into uh, a quick gold analysis. So gold, you know, it's been it's been the only bullish market so far. 
uh, currently on a weekly view. This is a three-year weekly view of GLD. Um, you can see how gold is pretty overbought. Okay, I mentioned last week that there's a very good chance of it coming up here and the market will get overbought, in which it did. It actually surpassed it a little more than I would anticipate it. So we're very, very close to this all-time high around the 100 uh, level. I think we closed near 99, something like that on Friday. Okay, so maybe the market can come back, um, continue higher, retag this new high, and that's that's the breaking point. Whether it goes higher or or fails right there is uh, is a critical spot. But given that we are pretty overstretched and overbought already, most likely we will probably see some kind of failure um, around this new previous high. Okay, going to a six-month daily view. Okay, you can see we've made a high at 99. So one more dollar, one more point, and we're hitting the all-time high. Um, if we do get some kind of failure, expect some kind of pullback, most likely towards this 20-day moving average. Okay, notice how ever since it's trending, let me take away the lines here. Ever since it's trending, you can see how it's been using this 20-day as pretty good support. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do get some kind of pullback on gold that we will find uh, the first level of support with this 20-day. And notice how the, even on a daily view, um, Stochastic is starting to head towards overbought. So you got overbought on a daily and a weekly view. So that's that's pretty significant right there. So you got a little bit of short-term and long-term uh, stretched overbought conditions. MACD, a little bit weaker. Okay, it's not as, uh, this peak is not as high as this previous peak, but we got some pretty significant highs here with the prices. So another sign of weakness in the gold market. Um, the best way to do is to put your stops tighter. Okay, if you're already long in this gold, um, I would definitely take some profit if gold hits 100, uh, no doubt about it. But I definitely wouldn't be entering any more long positions already. I mean, even if you didn't know it was overbought, just the fact that it's pretty high up already um, pro isn't really a good entry price right now. Wait for it to come back lower um, and before entering again. But I most likely won't enter again until it breaks over $100 because that's going to be a very um, critical emotional resistance level.